Yo, 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 another day, another adventure with your homeboy Jermaine. And right now in the city of Portici, Italy, hopefully I'm not butchering the name because I have this reputation of butchering names whenever I go to places. Um, for the most part, I've just been walking around exploring, looking for like a restaurant open, and I'm not finding any restaurants open. It's right around lunchtime. Wow, this place is um, very, very different from Naples and very, very different from Rome. It's not as touristy. You can tell a lot of locals live here. A lot of people don't speak English. I've been having to go places and like, you know, use Google Translate just because a lot of people don't speak English here, which is not a big deal. One thing I love about Portici is it, it's much cheaper than Rome. It's much cheaper than Naples. It's much nicer than Rome. It's much nicer than Naples. Well, when I say much nicer, I mean, th that's just my own personal opinion. But I just think it's just really chill here and it's just a slower pace of life. And uh, yeah, I really, really like the vibe here. It's not, I don't see as much graffiti everywhere. I mean, as I say that, I see graffiti right here, but it's not like Rome. I Wow, it's really, really, really beautiful here. Check this out. Huh, maybe if I keep walking around, I'll find uh, a restaurant open or or I could also go make some Italian pasta and something Italian, right? <laughs> but anyway, yo, let's get this video started. Up, oh, up, oh, what is this? Is this a restaurant? This looks like a little town area a little city center area here see lots of shops a lot of places are not open right now wow check out that armor on that car wow i actually find it quite interesting that there's n there's no restaurants open right now it's like the middle of the day there's very 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 few shops open back at the hostel now and i thought i would um show off the place that i'm staying because this place is pretty cool view from up above <laughs> lots of satellite dishes and antennas I love this this style of this building over here I think it's just so unique and this is pretty much the view around this area oh. it looks like this is turning into um, a hostel tour so let's go tour the hostel yo <laughs> now the name of this hostel is called a fabric hostel and uh, I believe dorm rooms are around 15 euro a night. I think privates are around um, maybe 50 euro a night, something along those lines. There, I was hanging out here the other night. Pretty cool place when you want to talk on the phone and get away from people. However, the Wi-Fi does not work there, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. It definitely has a kitchen. I'm not going to show the kitchen because I. The kitchen was like, <laughs> I'm not gonna show the kitchen. Let's, let's just keep going down. Okay, here's a hangout room here. So you can see there's like ping pong tables, pool tables, TV, couches, that sort of thing. Then over here, this hostel actually has a nightclub built in. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty cool area. In the morning time, this is the breakfast area. But, you know, at night, it's more like a, it's like a hangout slash dance party area. There's a bar over there, and uh, yeah, there's this place. Hey, kitty. Okay. This area. There's so many cool places to chill around here. Super cool artwork here. I like this artwork. As of now, the sun is not directly straight up above head or something, that sort of thing. So it's very cool to like hang out here, hang out by the hammock. Yesterday I was out sitting on the hammock and it was great until the sun started to go above head and I just had to move because it got crazy hot here. But um, yeah, that's, that's the fabric hostel. And go out now and see what shops are open. It's kind of early, but I think um, I think I may have some better luck now. Wow, looks like um, more shops are open. I never saw this shop yesterday. 
Oh, I got a lot of uh, random stuff to sell there. Let's keep going this way. Don't know what I'm gonna find this way. Oh, check out that little grocery store. Like, dude, yesterday I never saw any of this because it, it, it wasn't open. Need some toilet paper? It's definitely a popular commodity around here. What is this thing? Is this like a, a fly catcher or something? I should have bought one of these when I first arrived. You need a bandana, I need a little scarf. Back in the U.S., we call those, we call those something else, those bags. I'm not going to say because I don't want to be mean, but we call them a different name in the U.S. Wow, there's like so many shops. There's like this little fish market. A fish market that doesn't smell like fish. Let's continue to cruise through this little local area really fast. This is the way to do it, man. This is the way to do it. Check that out. I don't know, maybe I was walking down the wrong streets earlier because I see a lot of open businesses now. What are these things? I got no idea. Yeah, it's a uh, camera. This uh, is the microphone. So you can hear? Compris, compris, compris. Yeah. Very nice. Ever since I've been in Italy, I've been reading the comments and I've noticed that a lot of you guys have wrote in the comments, Jermaine, you're getting a lot of weird, crazy looks. That's because people aren't used to this vlogging, this camera setup. That's why. Believe it or not, it's not so much the camera, it's more of the microphone, this like dead cat thing on top. It just looks a little weird and if you're not into like videography and if you're not into filmmaking and you have really never seen like behind the scenes of like how they film stuff, you probably may wonder what is that thing on top of the camera. A lot of times when I'm walking around, I'll literally put the camera in my backpack just so when I'm walking around holding the camera in my hand, it doesn't draw attention because so many people look like so many people look like a lot of times I'll just like walk with the camera like like down by my side here and like so many people look so I'll just like take it and stash it so I'll draw a little less attention. Yeah, people will look the other way. There's another gas station. I like how the gas stations are here. They, they're just like on the side of the road. That makes a lot of sense. Do you really need like a large plot of land for eight gas pumps or you just put like three or four along the road here, right? Okay, so let's talk about these Italian gas stations because I had a friend that was in the gas station business not too long ago in the US and apparently when you sell gas, you make like very, very small amounts of money for each gallon. I think it's like anywhere from five cents to 10 cents a gallon. How gas stations really make money is you want to get people to come inside the store and buy something. If they can buy a drink, if they can buy a bag of chips, if they can buy, like if they can just buy anything from inside the store, if they buy a phone charger, if they buy a quart of oil, like that's how gas stations make money off of the, 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 the other stuff that you buy and not exactly off of the gas. Gas is almost like a loss leader for them just to get you to stop. Around here, I definitely don't think that same rule applies. <laughs> I think people only get gas when they stop at the gas station because I don't think people here are just into, they're just not like, uh, they're just not like Americans. Yeah, they don't need to go get a Coca-Cola if they stop and fill their car up with gas. They're, they're just walking by this grocery store here and I noticed that, uh, huh, they give out the meat, yo. Need some meat? I've been walking downhill for a minute, a minute, and right up above, well, not right up above, but right up ahead, here. We have the sea. Let's walk down and get a glimpse. I don't think this is a beach just because it's, it looks to be really, really rocky around this area. And there is a train that runs somewhere along here. Let's, let's see where this is over here. Oh, here we go. There's a, a little beach area there. And I guess there's a train track, so you can't walk directly across. Huh. There's a train too. Wow, what a beautiful view, right? 
definitely don't want to be at that beach. <laughs> let's, uh, let's head over this direction. Somehow. Good news, look like we got a little bit of break from the sun. Got a few clouds passing over. And I'm just walking through this parking lot on the other side near the beach area here. I'm gonna continue going this way. And I'm just looking at some of these cars in the parking lot. They're very, uh, they're very unique. I mean, there's like a few that, you know, we have in the U.S., but a lot of these I've never seen anywhere <laughs> except for here. It's like a little car show. Oh, yeah, there's that Volkswagen Golf. That's, that's like the only normal car in this parking lot, the Golf and the smart car here. Wow. Oh, there's Apple stickers. Looks like over here, the only thing I'm gonna find are rocks. Let's go see, anyway. Nice break from the sun. Wow, what happened to this parking lot? It just looks like a storm came through and destroyed it. Oh, look at these buildings. Look pretty dilapidated here. And then the, there's a little doghouse, a little pink doghouse. Huh. Hey, kitty. 